Natalie and I often like to break traditional game forms. For example, the idea that when you're playing a game with someone, you're not gonna have someone else come and steal your pieces out of your game. But in breaking those game forms, it, that becomes the challenge. How do you do that and still make the game easy to learn and enjoyable to play? Interference is a game for two people. There are two colors of pieces, so one of us is trying to get more white, the other one is trying to get more red in, but there's a twist to the game. To win interference, you're not really only playing against your opponent, you need to negotiate with what you had originally thinks are not part of your game with other players and other people around. At the beginning, again, it, you're frustrated. You have no control of what's happening. All your effort flashes away as quickly as you put it. That was our sort of danger, is how do we control the level of frustration in the game when other people are taking your pieces, but also make it a game that the more you play it, the more you realize that the frustration is sort of a gateway into a whole nother realm of social strategy and gameplay strategy that is what's at the heart of the game. Games like cuisine are based in some sense on the pleasure of the of the experience. So so that that's why interference was so challenging for us to design. Really hard. <laughs> because in a, on one level it's not it's not pleasurable. Um, but that's sort of that's the sensibility that we're we're trying to pursue with the game. What makes a game a game, what makes it meaningful to play is not that intrinsically related to digital technology. And I like to think that games are going to be more important in our lives, but that doesn't, that, what that means is that games are actually going to become many things. So that yes, there will be traditional computer games, yes, there will be smart objects that we play with, but also I think people will get a renewed interest in traditional games and people will find new ways of playing that do or don't involve digital technology.